Okay, guys, so this question number three is going to assist you on question number four. It says the line K has a slope of three fifths. Which line is described below is the only line that could be parallel to line K? So again, magic word here is parallel. Parallel means that you want your lines to have the same slope. So they're already giving you the slope that you need to be looking for. One of these has to have the same slope as three fifths. Well, notice how they don't give you equations. They gave you two ordered pairs. So think about it. How do we find the slope when you're given two ordered pairs? Okay. And if you remember, we have something called the slope formula. And you're just looking for the one that gives you three fifths. So you're going to have to do the slope formula until you find it three fifths. Be careful with those negatives, okay? Use your calculator. So I'm going to start with answer choice A. I'm going to put my fraction bar with my subtraction signs already, and I'm going to label my points. This is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. And I'm going to choose a different color so that I don't get confused with minuses and negatives, okay? So y2 is my 7, y1 is my 4, x2 is my 8, and x1 is a negative 3. All right, well, the top is easy. 7 minus 4, that's just 3. But here, if you did this correctly, then you're going to have a minus with a negative, and that's a plus. So 8 plus 3, that is 11. So I don't want 3 over 11. I want 3 fifths so that it can be A. So then you go to B. Again, do your little fraction bar with your subtraction signs and use a different color. This will be your x1, y1. This is x2, y2. So you put your y2 first, which is 8, minus your y1, which is 3, then x2 is 7, and then x1 is 4. 8 minus 3, that's 5. 7 minus 4, that's 3. Nope, I want the 3 on top. So it's not B. So let's just check our answers because you never know. So answer choice C. Remember, this is going to be x1, y1, x2, y2. Uh, y2 is 7, y1 is 4, x2 is 8, and x1 is 3. 7 minus 4 is 3, 8 minus 3 is 5. 3 fits, 3 fits. There you go. So your answer is If it had said uh, perpendicular, then of course you would have been looking for the slope of negative 5 over 3. Okay, so just be careful with the magic word.